One of my most oft asked questions at the moment is what the hell's this Yammer thing that everyone keeps talking about? So perhaps I'll let Yammer explain that to us both. Um, here I am at the Yammer website, www.yammer.com, and it says it here on the front screen, connect with your co-workers. So what it is, it's a, it really a social networking tool, but it's a tool that's private to, in our case, um, staff members of Swinburne. And if you've never used Yammer before, you need to get an account, which is really very, very simple. All you need to do is to put your email address into their front screen and hit sign up, and it will know then that you're a Swinburne worker by the fact of the email address, sign you up to the Swinburne community and send you an email with some further instructions. And um, I won't cover those instructions now, but I'll show you what it looks like once you're signed up and logged in. So here I am and I'm in the Yammer website logged in as, in this case, myself, Greg Bird. And I can see a whole lot of conversations here. I can see messages that have been sent by individuals that, that work at Swinburne. I can see conversations that, that um, come from those messages. So here's a message and others have replied to it. And really what we have is a social communication tool. But the thing that excites me most about this tool is that you're not just speaking to a very narrow community of perhaps your work colleagues, people within your department or division, because in fact there are many, many hundreds of Swinburne staff people who have accounts in Yammer. And so the first thing I'll show you is how you can first of all see who's already in the Yammer community and begin to follow people that you're interested in. So I'm going to go down to this Members button on the lower left of the screen. So here are the people that are already in Yammer. There are 333 of them at, at the moment, and they're from all parts of the organisation. TAFE and the university, corporate, uh, library, really representing the whole spectrum of workers at Swinburne. You can see individual people here and... and um, what their sort of bio is. And if you find someone that you really want to follow, they might be a colleague or someone that, that interests you, and I'll just use Nancy as an example for this, I could press this follow button. And now anytime Nancy um, posts a message to Yammer, that's going to appear for me. So I can, if you like, elect the individuals that I want to follow, and that's great. But maybe I want to form little um, communities or little groups that I also want to follow. And the other great function of this tool is what's called a groups function. So I've got a groups area here, and there's some groups that I already contribute to, but I'm going to show you first of all the groups directory. Click on that. So here we are, and these are all the various groups of, uh, if you like, conversations occurring in Yammer. There's conversations here at Black Blackboard Learn, and I've already joined that one, um, around edu educational technology, and there's some really interesting conversation that happens there. There's some stuff here about the library, and if I was interested in being part of that group, I can simply sign myself up, I hit the join button, and now I'm part of that group. So if anyone posts any messages to the library group, that will appear for me as well. Okay, so that's how you start to become involved in the community. And then I guess it's a matter of contributing to it because this is a social communication tool. It's a tool that allows you to contribute to the overall conversation. And at the top of the screen here, I've got an area where I can put a message together. So I can um, put a little message in and hit update. And that message is now going out to the community. Anyone that follows me will see it. Um, and really what that allows now is a way of networking with staff across the whole organization. Now, in addition to this website that, we're, um, that I'm demonstrating now, there's also an application that you can run on your computer that shows Yammer, and that can be a bit easier. Um, to work with. So there's that message I just posted. Um, you can have it available on your iPhone or on your iPad or Blackberry. So it's a really portable device and it really, for me, allows me to connect with parts of the organisation I previously wouldn't have had an opportunity to. So I hope that's useful.